Hey, sorry about that distraction, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls. I'm back again. Had to take some fucking collect calls of fucking bullshit. You think those after 20 years, those fuckers will be extinct? No! They're fucking keep doing a stupid ass goddamn scam artist shit, you know? Keep telling them I'm not fucking interested and I keep fucking doing that bullshit. Anyways, where was I? Yeah, with Channing Tatum and Mark Ruffalo. I didn't get to talk too much about Mark Ruffalo. A lot of people know from um, maybe 13 going on 30. I actually watched that back in my early 2000s days. <laughs> Um, that shit was, um, decent, it was okay, even though it was kind of a chick flick shit, it was okay, you know, I had a real good message, had like an 80s old school nostalgia, even though I wasn't, bo I was born in the 80s and 89, but of course I wasn't an 80s kid, I was a 90s kid, so yeah, there's that, you know, he's got a really good thing, I know he did 13 going on 30, he did a couple other movies, he did a lot of like, um, I'm thinking about the other dude, Patrick Dempsey, I think he did a lot of like, um, things like that, like The Grey. Like, he wasn't Patrick Dempsey, he was Mark Ruffalo. I think he did a couple more movies than he did TV, like, drama series. I didn't really give a shit about him about that. But I did like seeing his ass turn into the Incredible Hulk and uh, the Avengers 1 and 2. Even though I liked the Edward Norton version a lot better. They already showed that Hulk smash suit or whatever at Comic-Con. That whole Comic-Con thing's going on, so I don't know if I'm really to talk about that. I doubt it. If I do, it's probably going to be on my Nintendo Sony for 2011 channel. If you want to check that shit out. Um, it's really fucking awesome. It's amazing. Um... He's got a lot of inspiration. He, he definitely brings out the nostalgic factor in movies and shit. And even though this is based on a true story, but we'll see what happens in time. Steve Carell, I'm actually surprised he's doing like a real serious role. He usually does a lot of funny comedian type of ha ha ha, you know, type of like movies and shit. This time he's actually serious. That's the thing that mind blew, that made my mind blow up about this fucking film. Is that like, this is the first time I get to see him in a serious role. It's like, what the fuck? Really? I mean, the only times he's ever serious is at, like, the end of his comedic films, but that's it. This time he's serious, like, all the way, 110%. That's fucking wild. I never thought I'd see the Dave Steve Carell do, like, a serious character role, you know, that really means business. He has that, like, anger and shit, like, as that character that he's playing, you know? And, uh, so of course, Channing Tatum, this is his film. It's a little bit different, though, because, I mean, he's always been physically well, bit, well cut and shit. You know, he has, like, the big-ass muscles and shit, and women love the shit out of him. But like I said in the first part of this video... Um, yeah, you know, he does a lot of other different genres. If you haven't known, like, he does a lot of action, adventure, comedy, drama, um, besides the romance shit, which I really don't give a fuck about that. That's fucking chick flick crap, unless you want to bring your girlfriend or your wife or fiance to the chick flick movies. You know, you don't give a fuck about it, but she does, and that's different, you know? And he does a lot of mystery, like, sci-fi, like, um, outer space type of movies, too, so his shit's really fucking awesome. I respect the dude, like, um... And a lot of the films he's been, I'm surprised he wasn't in that Magic Mike 2 movie. No, he actually was. Thinking about Matthew McConaughey, he wasn't in the second one for some reason. It was weird. But yeah, I know he's going to be next year or the year after in that Doomsday X-Men movie. With the Doomsday um, whole scene. And he's going to be playing Gambit. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how good he does. Even though the dude that did, um, what's it called, that one fucking film, John Carter. He's the one that did Gambit in the, um, the Wolverine movie. Origins of Wolverine. Not the Wolverine that came out last year, the one that was in 2009, not the 2013 one. But yeah, um, that's all I have to say about the film. Hopefully you enjoyed this um, reaction review. You gotta have to see part one to check it out because I got fucking rudely distracted by these stupid ass fucking scam artists always calling me on my goddamn fucking phone. I get pissed the fuck off when that shit happens, you know? I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not yelling at you. I'm yelling at the fucking people. That fucking keep calling me and shit. I'm not fucking goddamn interested, alright? But yeah, um, so leave that on the side note. Um, really fucking good movie. I'm going to leave the trailer down below so you can check out yourself, Fox Catcher. Starring Channing Tatum, Steve Carell, and um, the other dude's name, Mark Ruffalo. So that's all I have to say for now. So like I always do say, um, is what it is, ain't what it ain't. See you when I see you guys every day, every night, wherever you're around the world. I'm drinking smoke weed at the same time. Don't tell the wreck. We'll see you soon. See you around. Peace out. Later. Bye. I'll talk to you guys next time. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it collective. I mean, you guys take it easy, all right? Stay safe. See you in the next one. Um, take care. I'm out. Goodbye, and see you soon, all right? I'm out of here. Peace.